Hello, this is Lauren Broom, your instructor with Space Coast Pool School. And today we're going to be looking at how to calculate how much chemical to add to a specific gallonage pool or spa for a specific change in a specific volume without no product label available. So let's first look at the problem that we're going to do. How much cyanuric acid is needed to raise the stabilizer level in a 75,000 gallon pool from zero to 30 parts per million. So when you read that problem, you do not see or hear that there is a product label available in that problem. So that's when we use the chemical dosage chart. So the first thing we gotta fill in is box number one. So if we come over to the chemical dosage chart, you'll notice that the first column here is amount of chemical, box number one. So what we get from this column goes here into box number one. So we need to look at the chemical we're using and what we're doing. We're saying we're increasing stabilizer using cyanuric acid. This is our operation and our chemical here. So we got to go all the way down to the bottom here. Increase stabilizer using cyanuric acid. And then we got to go to the first column and this is box number one. So this number goes into this box. So this will be 13 ounces. ounces goes right here. Box number two is given. That's the volume in the problem. 75,000 gallons. Now we have to divide that by 10,000 per the worksheet right there. So 75,000 divided by 10,000 will give you 7.5. Now you got to fill in box number three. Box number three is from the problem. So you got to go back to the problem. What is the amount you're at and what do you want to go to. We're at zero and we want to go to 30. So what's the difference? 30 minus zero is 30. So 30 goes there. Now you're going to divide by box number four. You go to the product label. Notice that this says box number four. Now you're going to go all the way down to the bottom where you got this original number and this 10 goes into box number four right there. 30 divided by 10 is three. Now you're gonna take everything across the bottom and the answer goes there. So you're gonna take 13 times 7.5 times three. And that gives you 200 and 92.5 ounces because whatever box number one's unit is goes after the equal sign. But you're going to see that you want this to be in pounds. So we're going to convert using this conversion right here. So we're going to take that 292.5 ounces and divide it by 16 and that's going to give an answer of 18 point two eight pounds 